Hey everybody, welcome to the second review um, for the night. I'm going to do one more after this one. So I got a request to retest F-Secure, and um, there's a beta version out for 2011. So I went and uh, grabbed that. If you can, uh, we can see, we can check for updates. You can see it's got the newest updates. Let's check out, see what kind of settings we have here. Even though I'm not going to change anything, I just want to see kind of what it's got. It's got this deep guard. Scheduled scanning, manual scanning, virus and spyware. This is, I think, this deep card is kind of like uh, a behavior monitor, is what I would bet. It's got a firewall, browsing protection, all that fun stuff, updates, and that's pretty much it. So, looks nice and simple. I like it. I like clean interfaces like this. So, let's get to testing here. I got the same links as I do in um, the uh, cloud, Panda Cloud one, except I found two more, so I added two more to the mix here. Well, window, well, Internet Explorer starting up. Let's check out uh, what kind of memory usage we got, just for the hay of it. Oh, I accidentally tried to close that. That's stupid. That's what I wanted to hit. Okay, so let's see, F secure. Definitely high memory usage. Look at that, 56 megs. The computer doesn't seem too slow though, so that's not too bad. I keep forgetting to use process monitor, process explorer, for some oddball reason. Okay, found that one. I can definitely feel the computer is a little bit slower, that's for sure. That one was blocked. I'll restart after this is uh, after I'm done. Apparently, it caught that one. Let's see if we can get it to save though. Probably not. So let's move on. So I got that one too. Right, I'll just close some of these out. Okay, it's asking me to restart. We'll do that later. Okay, I think I was right here.
Looks like I caught that one too. I got that one. It's good. Couple more. Looks like that one's not working anymore. Last one. And that one doesn't work. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restart and then run a full scan with F Secure, and I'll be back after the full scan is done. Okay, so I finished scanning and it found one spyware, and it can do an automatic cleaning, but I want to see what it is. Oh, tracking cookie. So it's going to delete the tracking cookie. And that's it. So I'm going to run CCleaner and then Malwarebytes, and I'll be back after Malwarebytes runs. Okay, it does look like they need to work on uh, a whitelist because it apparently the deep scan prevented a, suspicion pro a suspicious program from starting Malwarebytes. So uh, they need to work on uh, getting at least some of the more popular programs into a whitelist. Alright, so Malwarebytes finished scanning and it didn't find anything, so that's good. So last thing I'm going to do is do a scan with Hitman Pro and uh, see what it finds. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back after Hitman Pro finishes scanning. Okay, so Hitman Pro finished scanning and it didn't find anything. That's good to see. So it looks like F-Secure is improving. Um, their pricing isn't too bad either. Um, I don't know how their firewall does. Now I'm, I'm sure that you know you have to um, do more links. These are well, I don't know it's like 12 links, so it's looking okay for now. Uh, if they could just get some of the RAM usage down, because there's no need for 60 megs of RAM. Um, looks like they got a pretty solid suite here. All right, guys, uh, this is. Uh, review's over, and I'm going to do one more. Take care.